Hey guys, today I'm doing a Lush Halloween haul. Um, I couldn't get quite a few of their things because they were sold out annoyingly, but I managed to get this box of stuff, uh, which was prepared by someone called Michael. I like that they do that, that they say who prepared your, your things. There's a lot of worms, as Graveyard Girl likes to call them. If I dip my hand in there, first thing I got was this little monster. Oh my god, it smells so good! The little monster was... It smells amazing now that I've opened that box. Oh my god. Um, the little monster was £9.13. I open it up. It's got the monster ball and the Lord of Misrule in there. It smells amazing, guys. I ha I usually don't buy packaging like this because there's no point. But um, I bought it because the Lord of Misrule was sold out, so this was the only way of getting it. smells amazing so that's Lord of Misrule. It smells so good. I could just sit with this all day under my nose just smelling it. Oh my god it smells amazing. So good. And then this is, oh the shower cream. That's cool I don't remember seeing the shower, no so wait this isn't Lord of Misrule then is it? This shower gel smells like, um, like, uh, sweets, like candy, which is appropriate for thingy, for Halloween, and, and it's a nice green colour, and look, you can see a bit of dark green in there, it's a really nice colour for Halloween. So wait, so this bath bomb can't be the Lord of Misrule then, is it? Oh, it's a monster ball. Sorry. Um, I won't show you guys what it looks like when you actually put it in because you can. They have such great videos on their website anyway. So, monsters ball they say is a monster mashup of lime and neroli oils. Will have you feeling frank and fine all night long. And the Lord of Miserable shower cream. You'd be a fool not to get down on earthly with this spicy black pepper and patchouli party. Oh yeah, I can't wait to use these. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a bath tomorrow and just just put everything in there. Just go crazy. Probably won't do that. Probably use one at a time to appreciate it, but Lush is just amazing. Like when I go to um, my local shopping centre, there's a Lush store in there. And when you walk past it, it's just amazing. Absolutely. The smell is just out of this world. Then if I dip my hand in there, it's like one of those ball pits where I can't seem to find anything else. I honestly feel like I thought, okay, I found something, found something, found something. Oh no, is it broken? Oh no, it isn't. So this is, what does that smell like? This smells like church. <laughs> it smells like church to me. Um, this is the Autumn Leaf Bath Bomb, which was £3.13. Why is it? Okay, they only add that on at the end, so it's a bit more expensive than that, so yeah, because I thought it would look cheaper. So anyway, that plus that, but it smells like church in a good way. It smells like a mixture of incense and other things, so it's nice. And look, it's got all the pretty colours. When you put it in the bath, it must look amazing. Oh no, poor little ghost man. So this is a, I can't remember if this is a bath bomb, I know this is a boo bath melt. I 
I don't know what this smells like. It smells familiar, but I don't know what it is. But it's cute. Poor little guy's gonna melt in the bath. That must look amazing. Oh, I just, I love all of this Lush thing. I have to take out all of the little white thingies, because otherwise I can't find anything. Found something else. Oh, look at this little guy. Little jack-o'-lantern. This smells... <coughs> this smells of, um... A mixture of orange and the fires we used to make um when my when my grandparents used to when i used to visit my grandparents like they would make a chimney fire and it smells of a mixture of that so that's quite a nostalgic smell and this was three pounds 29 plus that that's such a nostalgic smell <laughs> It also got this, which I think was fire soap or something. Um, oh no, it's a magic wand soap. So this was £2.92 plus fat. I can't tell what it smells like. But look at these colours. Doesn't it just look like fire? <laughs> That's why I called it fire. I, can, I feel like I can smell some orange. But I don't know what else it smells like, just orange, really. I love smelling stuff, but I'm not good with recognising what's in the products. Oh, look at this one. Is it meant to be like this? Oh wow, this is going to get everywhere. <laughs> so this is the Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar. I don't know if it's meant to look like this. Looks like it's been flattened a bit. It's so lovely and glittery. This one really smells of orange as well. And something else. But I can't put my finger on what it, was, what it is. I don't know if I'm saying everything that looks orange smells like orange just because, like, you know, colour association. But it's so nice and sparkly. Look at it. And that was it, guys. I didn't manage to get everything, like I said, because some things were sold out, but... I'm really happy with what I got and I shall be having nice baths in the lead up to Halloween. Um, if you want to see what any of the things look like um, when they're put in the bath, like I said, the Lush website has really good videos. Um, so I didn't think there would be much point in showing you guys and that way I could truly appreciate them, you know, without having to use a camera. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.